na eneni da eto so bi ensa e bi aba e ye simple tacha e bi du ga o hwe atu jume de e fa si da kesi ma mta we day for you everywhere you go welcome i feel end point of your party there savana be i feel em come up e ye matin e cosmetics ene e ye abuafo a apoy ama ye de de bi aba e aba africa world airlines the body beach hotel of course, I get Ghana, biggest media empire, United Television, Kao, Peace FM, Kao, Hello FM, Kao, OPFM, any media FM, Kao, IFM, despite group of companies. And then you have a big deal with our Mencia. I said, you know, Mencia is the seat of Asante, the occupant of the Golden Studio. Ashanti Kingdom is one of the oldest kingdom in Africa. And in fact, the known kingdom we have in Ghana. It is yet to be a year Ashanti, men, a year a year of the soul, a temple of the soul, and then I say, Gemba, a year at the end of the day, and back for some, and for my union day, and some with me, 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 Tour guide, a war Mencia Palace Museum. Now I can a papa summer a war a year Mencia Palace Museum. Um, if you're watching us in Nigeria on um, DSTV channel 360 in Ghana, this program is shown at 5 p.m. which is 6 p.m. in Nigeria on Saturdays and repeat on Mondays 1 p.m. in Ghana, 2 p.m. in Nigeria. On DSTV channel 360. This is Ghana's number one entertainment conversational um, program. And we have the ever fabulous, amazing, beautiful, intelligent, eloquent, very inspirational Big Brother Nigeria 2019 housemate, superstar, Simply Taji, historic visit to Ghana. We are in Kumasi, the citadel of culture and tradition. And Ashanti Kingdom is one of the most powerful popular kingdom known to even Europeans for more than 500 to 600 years ago. So Mr. Gordon Fripon is our tour guide here at Mencia Palace Museum and he's going to take us through the history of Mencia Palace. Of course we see some relics of this great um, kingdom. We are at the seat of the occupant of the Golden Street. That is a symbol of authority and power of the Ashanti Kingdom. So I present to you, Mr. Gordon Fripon. Um, um, thank you. Um, tradition here before you start at all in the museum we have a short documentary for about 12 minutes you will watch this documentary is going to brief you about the history and about the history of Asante people and the museum itself so with your permission I'm going to start this documentary for the program. 
Your for me, the Eddie Tracy Boache, Ghanaian actress and a movie producer. My name is Industry Nima. Who the uncle baby? Who call YouTuber? Call Dave Hammer TV. Oh, oh, hey, dear, you wouldn't miss anything. Dave Hammer TV. Keep watching. The priest are not your advisor. Advisor is not your advisor. Once we are all interested, it means we can't even vote. So we should leave this to the boss. The Supreme Being to help us get the leader. So we should all go back home, pray and fast for three days, and come back. And when you are coming back, you should come along with your last two. The two I was explaining to you at the party. The last two is a symbol of office, symbol of power, symbol of authority, and symbol of status of these individual chiefs. We should bring them along. The gods will be here. They agreed, went, and came back. On the third day, a big devil took place here like this. That's an artist's impression. Here in the middle of the devil, the priest and the stood to invoke the gods, so the golden stood to protect from stars, came and landed onto the last of king or said to that made him the first king of Asante. Then, he was given a song to swear to protect the people. They also sworn to protect him. A part of him into our head, fingers were collected, brought together, Bent into ashes. Some of these ashes were mixed with palm wine for all of them to drink, like covenants. Then, after he did a big hole here, collected all the black stools that they brought along, buried the stools with the rest of the ashes, and kept the sword on top. Said to them, If any one of them goes and come back here from the stool, this unity will collapse. He also gave a prophecy that there will be a time if you come here with sickness and you do not get medicine, you will die. At that same period, people will come from here, people will go from here. Meaning, people are going to born here, people are going to die here on that same occasion. And this prophecy came through in the early 1950s. That was over 200 years after the flood has been here. In the early 50s, it happened that the Mandria hospital for the people in the northern sector of Gothi, now Ghana. And this hospital has been built into Maxi. So a contract was awarded to a British and European company called G. Walker and Slater to come and survey Kumasi City and look for the best place for a hospital of this country constructed around this place. After surveying, they said this place would be the best. And when it was agreed that they were planting the land, they came across the soil in the forest here and they thought it was good. All because those the banks were not common and people used to keep their money in the soil and put signals on top. When they found the soil properly stacked here, they thought it's one of those things, so they decided to take it. They did, and their soil was not coming out. They brought excavators to do so. When they brought the excavators, the soil was invisible to them. They decided to excavate the whole place because they know the size of land they are working within. So they excavated the whole place. The following morning, the soil was there as if nothing has happened to the place. So they were scared. They tried to tell people about the mystery going on. They wanted people here. They would come and look at the soil. This thing to them, they never believe. They tried to pull their fiscal strength. Many people have been here, including the former heavyweight champion, the late boxer Muhammad Ali, 
Muhammad Ali was in Ghana in 1964. He came to China. He was not able to do that. He made a Ghanaian boxer called Jack Fuller, went for Zulus or Juju, Yale Yale or Zuigui or Nyamitol. I don't know which one you understand. From powerful men to become powerful to bring this sword out. He came and spent his day. He was not able to do that. So all that I'm trying to tell you is that the sword you see here this morning was not planted here to show what this, to show a challenge to anyone. But it's here to tell us where the Asante Kingdom started, where the gold is to, which is the highest tree of allegiance in the Asante Kingdom, and at the same time the throne of the King of Asante came from. I told you at the beginning that the people who gathered here were Akans. Those Akans who came here to form this confederacy became Asante. They became Asante because of what was in there. The theme of their meeting here was because of war. And because of war, literally translated in Akan as Esa Inti. Esa in Akan means war. Esa Inti means because of war. So when they wage war, their fellow Akans would say, these people are those who came together because of war. They would say, Esa Inti for. And as they continue to say Esa Inti for, the phrase Esa Inti corrupted to be Esa So the word Esa is a corrupted word from the phrase Esa Inti. Esa Inti because of war. Please can you that up? Esa Inti. Esa Inti. Thank you very much. If I will proceed, thank you. Our leaders are corrupt. These ones you know are corrupt. And that means they were caught back then. I'm sure I'll read that the school that led to own. What is the name? Innocent. Innocent. And we don't have no sober, they're not of corruption and bribery. You know, listen, you know, that's a question many people are asking. Mm -hmm. You know, the Confanachi then was not just a priest among them. He was also a chief of Arguna State, which the Queen of Arguna was also sitting down there expecting the stool to fall on her lap for Confanachi to be the leader. Okay. You understand? So that's how it was. It's coincidence. Um, I would love to appreciate how Ophanochi came to Ashanti, that part of the history, so that we know who the Ophanochi is and uh, why King Ossetiti the first invited him when he had him in his hometown before giving him that portion of land at Akuna to make him the chief, what he did, and why he didn't return to his native land. Because before Obanoji came here, Obanoji had also performed some miracles in his own hometown. But it was said to do, um, has been inherited by the present king as they were said to do the second pay homage to Okonkwanochi's own town June 2014. And why did the occupant of the Golden do now went to Okonkwanochi's hometown in 2014 when Okonkwanochi came from his own town in, uh, in the 17th century? Okay, you know, uh, that place, you know, uh, many people are saying this is hometown. Uh, we research that we have done show that the Kumfanochi was bred there. You know, actually, his origination was from Aguna. Because not, uh, uh, he was not given Aguna land before, uh, because uh, he came with uh, in Osetutu. Because when they were coming from Akwamufie, he did not come with Osetutu alone. You should remember Amampatia, the band Mahe, the chief of this particular area, uh, a room for the now a room for a bra for they are also with me and some people some soldiers from Akam yeah. whom we call Akam for were also with uh, King of Egypt when he was coming from Akam for yeah. when they came because most of them were not from this particular place he created school for them Bantama was created the continent and was given Bantama the people from Akon, because they were soldiers, they were given to Asafuene. That made Asafuene, uh, gave the Asafuene that title, Akonmudine. 
and the uh, Amun for or the Amun for were given to Nanahima to guide him, to guide her as her bodyguard. Then upon Fanachi decided to proceed to Aguna, where his mother was from. Do you understand? So you know, it's like, I don't know your, where you are actually come from. Now you will stay in Accra, doing business there. You will have a kid there. When you give birth in Accra, the particular place you are staying now, and the baby grow up there, all his, peer, all his peers or her peers know that this baby is from here. If you go up and they will tell you he is a native of this particular town. But when you are going to her origin, deep into where he or she is coming from, then you find out that your hometown or your wife's hometown is where I, 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 I'm not No, no, I'm, I'm coming to that. I want to learn there. So that's why Okofanachi was uh, stationed at Aguna. Because he came and inherited the ladder for Konfoyamwa. You know, he's not the only first person in his family who, had, who became a priest. According to history, when he was born, his uncle was called and said, so during his time that Anochi was born, you understand? When he was born and he was holding that talisman, he said, this is a priest from the ancestral land because he is not a priest who is going to be ordained on this land. When he came with it, he was born with it. So the, the, the deity that they were using was it's called Chechere, was brought from Alcuba area. So he was sent to and read to become powerful. That's why he did a lot of battle. My final question is, you said someone, everybody that tried have to do We also know that Kumase is the center of all these prophetic churches. Have these pastors tried, or have you organized any prayers trying to bring this one out? You know, as I They say it's spiritual. Yeah, I told, you, I told you, this was not actually planted here for a challenge. You understand? Yeah, that's what I was telling you. So the sword, the sword that I was telling you was planted here to mark the place where the sanctity not started. And it was a secret. You understand? That they didn't tell people. It was only the time that they were building this hospital and they were to unveil it. It doesn't mean that. Well, we are at the Kumasi Cultural Center today, Tasha. Step down in Kumase and it's been a wonderful anyway, time. Uh, the love is deep. Uh, uh, so uh, 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 simply touch her uh, 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 Simply touch her uh, 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 big father Nigeria contestant uh, 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 Baguan went to meet and one could wear you yet. It's a man from a hand of crap. Then so any of my baba way a year as a young girl of 23 years. No, no, it's me. I am a power banker. She said, no, 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 Tasha, the brain, why you weak? Yeah, they are As a young girl of 23 years, don't want to hear yes, I am a winner. Not just a one, why are they? You know, one of us, Yaman Akwaba, Abba, Seiko, Dave Hamati, that's why I share. You are all the best for you. Thank you very much. Thank you for the Center for National Culture for Nasu. This cultural center you are in now is the first of its kind in the whole of West Africa. And it was established by the Shantis in 1951, six years before Ghana independence. And the whole idea of the establishment of the cultural center was as a result of the personal drive and the individual initiative of the late Dr. Alexander Atap Yao Chematin. Come closer. Come. So we, we refer to him as the doyen of, of you know, Asante culture okay. and for that matter, Ghanaian culture. He okay. studied anthropology in Cambridge, yes, in the UK, no. and then he came back and decided that no, he could not write for an African or an Asante for that matter to tell his history 
and cultural homesteads. So he decided that why not have an establishment or an institution of culture where we, we just have a pool of all our cultural you know, uh, elements. Both in this one, oh, I mean, drumming, dancing, folklore, what have you, and one place to serve as a set of excellence. So the king then, Prempe II, was told about this vision of the late Chematel. The king bought into it, donated this vast stretch of land, and in 1951, the cultural center was born, and it was named Asante Cultural Center. Later on, in 1963, Dr. Kwame Kumar visited the cultural center while on his way to the north. Dr. Chamatin took him on a tour of the establishment. He was so amazed of what the Asantis have done. So when he went back to Africa, he initiated that no, this institution should rather be nationalized and made a Ghana, Ghana National Cultural Center instead of Asante. So the traditional rulers headed by the Asante King, Prempe II, already agreed and so the cultural center was nationalized and given the name Ghana National Cultural Center. We have so many departments. We have the visual arts department where they are engaging arts and crafts like literary, poetry, 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 you name it. And then we have the uh, uh, performing arts where they engage in various African dance and musical forms. We have the historical section where we'll be visiting, that is the museum. And then the administration, which is in charge of the day to day running of the culture, field, as well as the accounts department. We're going to visit the museum and note that the museum is the oldest museum in Ghana. It was built in 1951. Even though it's small, when we are taking on a tour of the museum, we will appreciate the richness and the priceless of the artifacts that we have in the museum. So please, this is our culture. So let's take a look. This monument was erected in 1963. Yeah. As I told you earlier, the cultural center was established through the instrumentality of the traditional authorities headed by the Asante King. And it was as well run by the traditional authorities. So when Nkrumah moved that is nationalized and it was agreed, they put up this monument to signify that transitional period. And so you see that these things you see depict our royalty, our culture. We have the, the source of authority, the skills talking about the wealth and gold of the people, all in the transverse position. And the base of what we see is the huge umbrella, which we call it Benchini, Benchini, because um, when uh, we have grand debates, you have the chiefs and all the queen mothers seated under umbrellas. So it is also turned upside down in the transverse position, signifying that the traditional authorities have given the, the power of you know, administration to the government, so they have no hand at all whatsoever in running of the cultural center. So this is what this monument represents. It used to be a fountain. Unfortunately, the fountain is no more, and we're trying hard to source funding to put it back. So it adds color and life to the vibrancy of the cultural center. So let's take a walk to the museum. We are entering the oldest museum in Ghana, as I told you earlier, known as Prempe II Jubilee Museum. Over there, you see the statue of King Prempe II. It was during his reign that the cultural center was established. Artifacts for the museum and, and the Rolls Royce for King Pepper the uh, second. He reigned from 1971, um, 1970 up to 1999. He reigned for 39 years, and there was official car given to him by the British. We used to drive the same way as you can see, but we said goodbye way back in 1974, precisely 4th August 1974. And as you see, the registration number here, 80, 80 literally means Ashanti territory. Ashanti territory. So that's the bit of information about this. Thank you. Come on. And there, or no one can say it me at the Ghana, you fufu, I'm a BBI. I come a sabre. Oh, hello, FM. I say, I and any bar bidding commonty. All the fans, I a titans, Mudo, a simply toucher, big 
brother Nigeria contestant Ufiase na sabri eni ni babi din komo live on hello 101.5 FM ye streamu so so live on Facebook ntimo amu follow ya on Facebook no hello 101.5 FM on Facebook ye streamu ya beda eldo oseyase se wa maye sa akwenye ya beda mpeni mfo so so e di enim ya beda doctor doctor se kwa me despite eni ni nya Doctor of Risa Pwasipa and uh, Father Dixon. You don't say Doctor Father Dixon now. You don't say uh, Mr. Roger Cote. So, so you don't say Samson Kwame Nyamiche Ura. Yami Shao, General Manager of Hello FM. Na yada Mrs. Atifa Kwenu. Doctor Mrs. Atifa Kwenu of Anak Foundation. And then Penny for Hello FM. Na ni desperate group of companies. One night, me this simply touch her. Abba Akra. Asaba Kumasi na baby ayaku koku kono ababa wana oko ne wenye bianka na chese na no, onwa no, na minim secret a woman is say nefa every Ghana ah tini yo nefa every Ghana Ashanti region ena nefa so so every Nigeria aha River State eh yeah, Port Harcourt Yes, a ho na simply touch a nefa e free. It is a bread ye, ya de nyumba kubi be fermo. Aha, ye ba, ya ne simply touch a. E be nikomo live on Hello 101.5 FM. I love the song. And his brother. <laughs> and Amboa. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. And we will say Akwaba. Medase. Akwaba. Medase. Wow, since Friday you've been in Ghana. Yeah. And um, how, how has the activities been so far for you? It has been great. It has been great. Every bit of it has been great. Really, really great. Wow. Have you enjoyed yourself? I have enjoyed myself. We've been to different museums today. It's, it's um, how do I put it? It's really, really interesting and intriguing, getting to know all of the stuff. I think everybody needs to be in Ghana, this Xmas. Wow. They really do need to be in Ghana, this Xmas. Oh, how, how about our, our, our local food? When eating it, how did you feel? Yeah, I tried Banku yesterday and Tilapia. Really? It was explicit. Banku and Tilapia? Yes. The sauce. I also had meat. It was really, really cool. I'm see. looking forward to trying other delicacies. Um, Wache. Mm. I really want to try Wache. Yes. The brown rice and beans okay. and cassava flakes. Okay. Everything. I see. Yes. Wow. <laughs> but ha have you been able to taste our fufu? Uh, no, I haven't been able to taste fufu. Oh, I'd you, need love to, to. You, you need to eat fufu before you go back to Accra. <laughs> yes, I really you need to would eat love fufu. To. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> fufu is nice. Fufu is life. Yeah, fufu is life. I like yes. that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> well, this year is the year of return in Ghana. Yes. And how have you seen, how's the experience like for you? Uh, the experience, like I said, is really, really intriguing. Mm. It's a lot. I mean... Yeah, everybody gets to hear of Ghana, but have you been in Ghana? Mm -hmm. You need to be in Ghana. If you're in Ghana, you would want to stay and not go anywhere. You get to anywhere you need to go to in less than how many minutes. You see people on the street, everybody's chef, everybody's happy, everybody's friendly. And um, Ghana is the place to be, literally. Mm. As that's all I'll wrap it up with. It's It's been amazing so far, since Friday. Mm. It has been amazing. How do you see Ghana's culture, especially uh, Ashanti's culture? I know, I, I learned uh, half of you, um, you, you... Yeah, my mom. Yes, comes from the... Sunyani. The, Sunyani. Yes. Okay, and your dad comes from Nigeria. Nigeria. Potakot City, Potakot, River State. River State. Yes. Okay, how do you see Ghana's culture? Very, very rich. Mm. Yes, very rich, very interesting. I, I, I still need to read more. Aside from me hearing, mm. I really need to read Ghana. The culture is really, really rich. Wow. Very rich. Wow. Your fans, the Titans, how they received you? How did you see that? The love? I felt... I felt the love. Mm. I mean, I came out. I came out from the effort, and it's everybody there screaming, "No leave, no transfer." No I'm like, leave. okay, my voice is going down, but almost me, I have to scream too. And I said, like, "No leave, no transfer." They say, we say dancing, too good, cute pictures. I mean, the love has been um, what I'll swap with nothing, second to none. I love my Titans so much. Mm. Ghana Titans be the ish. <laughs> <laughs> that no leave, no transfer. Well, how did you get that slogan that everywhere you go, no leave, no transfer, no leave, no chance? Well, how did you get that slogan? Um, it was more like an extreme motivation to okay. myself in the house. Mm. Um, it, it, yeah, because every week I'm off for possible eviction. And I think around the time I started screaming, 
no leave, no transfer was around. I think the eighth week or so. So it's like, how how do you people still put me up? I'm not leaving, mm. man. I'm still in this house. So it's like, okay, maybe you people don't get it. I need to make you understand. So that'll be like, no leave, no transfer. <laughs> I think I full ground all of that. So yeah, it was more of an extensive uh, motivation for myself. Wow. Simply yeah. Tasha. Yes. And what's your real name? Anita Natasha Akide. Anita Natasha Akide. Yes. Natasha means so I'm born around Christmas and You're born on Christmas? Yes. Around Christmas. Christ like babies. Oh, and my birthday is on the okay. 23rd. 23rd of this month. Of this yeah. month. Of December. You are blessed. Thank you. And by wow. the way, happy new month to you so, and everybody. <laughs> so the Natasha, you shortened and made it Tasha. Right? Yeah, that's a short form for it. Okay. Okay, Anita Natasha Akide. Akide. Natasha, C H Natasha. Okay, okay, what a nice name. Okay, Thank so you. what's the next thing for you? Uh, what's next again? Now you are in Ghana, you're touring the capital city, the second capital city. That's cool. What's next for Tasha? Um, um today I'm turning up at Earns Club in Accra. Tomorrow, a photo shoot section, and then I'm back to Nigeria. But to be back to Ghana, and like I've been saying, I didn't come to Ghana just to visit. I came to Ghana to be involved in the system, wow. to be involved in the community, Ghana community. I really want to be involved. Wow. It's like, this is motherland, though. Mm. I need to be in here. So it's not just a visit. I know I'll be leaving tomorrow, but most definitely, I will be back and really, really soon. We will receive you, too, really. every <laughs> Thank time you, you come. <laughs> yeah, Thank you. you are too. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned you are a great entrepreneur too. Yes, you're an entrepreneur. Yes, Thank you, you. You've done a power bank and um, uh, you've done um, some makeups. How do you advise the youth who at the age of 22, 23 don't even think they can do something like what you're doing? How do you advise them? Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to believe in yourself. But all I would say is no matter what you see, no matter where you are, just believe in yourself. Because if I would be who I am today, and it means that anybody can be anything they want to be. Because mm -hmm. I come from not a, not a rich background, the area I stay. I I'm see. sure everybody's marveled as to where I am at the moment. Mm. So, it's, it's, so it's all about dreaming, waking up, and achieving all of these things, and telling yourself that, see, I'm going to do this, I'm going to be rich someday, mm. and really soon. And then you strive towards it, you push, and everything comes in place. Mm. Really, yeah. You don't have to sit and wait for thousands of dollars. You just have to multiply the hundred CDs you have to one thousand CDs, and it, it, it keeps multiplying. Wow. Now what for you? <laughs> now what? Hey. Well, do you have any thanks or, or any appreciation that you want to make? Yeah, I want to thank the team, that's my group of companies, for making my stay this beautiful. I'm always saying beautiful because the goodies has been so much. Yesterday, the turn up at Kiki B's was crazy. Titans, oh my wow. God. It was really fun. I received Love. gifts. Um, I flew in hour today. So far, so good. I just want to say a big thank you to everybody in Ghana, most especially um, the Swag Group of Companies, especially the Titans, and then to all of the OAPs. I mean, you guys have been so nice to me. Thank mm. you so much. Thank you. So thank you to everybody, literally. Uh, thank before you so I, May I, that say? Be, before, before I leave you, um, I would want you to let people know your social media handles before uh, you go. But before um, you go... Do you, do you love tattoos that much? Do I love tattoos that yeah. much? Yeah. Uh, tattoo. To me. Tattoo. Tattoo. <laughs> do you love tattoo? Tattoo. Well, well to me, um, every <laughs> tattoo I, I do have has a meaning. I have one for my mom. You so, have one? Uh, yeah, for my mom. Only yeah. one? <laughs> Only one tattoo? <laughs> oh, you have it? Okay, so where is the tattoo? Um, It's just right here. Okay, can for we my see? Mom. <laughs> okay. It means forever in my heart. Forever in your heart? Yes, my mom. Wow. Yeah. The love is deep. You love your mom. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Thanks so much for coming. Thank you so much for and, having um, me. And your fans, 
those that want to follow you, we, um, kindly let us know your social media handles on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, so that people can follow you. Um, yeah, so my Instagram is simply underscore Tacha, S Y M P L Y underscore T A C H A. And on Twitter, it's the same, S Y M P L Y underscore T A C H A. YouTube, simply Tacha as well. On, on Facebook, it's more than. 30,000 people. Wow. Bearing Simply Tatcha. So I can't hey. really give that out. There's a lot of people. Oh, okay. So, so okay, okay. my account on Instagram is verified and mm -hmm. I'm verified on Twitter as well. Okay. And then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay. Simply Tatcha. Simply well. Tatcha. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming. Thank and I uh, wish you all the best. Thank you. Um, we wish you a safe journey back to Accra and back to Nigeria. Thank you. And um, we wish you take all the good news from Ghana to Nigeria. I will. Thanks to African World Airlines. Thank you. Thanks to Labadi Beach Hotel. Thanks to the biggest empire, the biggest media empire, and I'm talking about Despite Media. Okay, FM, Hello FM, Peace FM, Neat FM, UTV, Peace FM online for bringing our wonderful sister, the evergreen, gorgeous, <laughs> lamb, simply Tasha in Thank Ghana. Thank you. Yada Ubiya Seh. Inti mungko shwa na mungfolo ni Titan Samoa Town. Mungi yaba... Ababa was so no simply Tasha. Ewa ha. It's moving your queen and I'm in nature pictures. Ewa down. I'm saying that your friends, your t your fans are down there waiting for you to take pictures with you. Are you going to take pictures with them? Yeah, sure. I will. I've been taking pictures all through Friday and <laughs> uh, uh, yesterday today. So, yeah, short in. Okay. Then Going they're downstairs waiting for you. to take cute selfies. Then they're waiting for you. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Thanks to the management of Hello FM, uh, Mr. Samson Kwame Nyamiche, International General Manager. Thanks to Mrs. Atefa Kwenu, Dr. Mrs. Atefa Kwenu. Thanks to Dr. Farah Dixon. Yes. And uh, Mr. Rujakote. Abeku Santana. Thanks so much. Uh, my brother Godwin Dogbe, back from OKFM in Kumase. Uh, my brother Maxi. Emmanuel Akins is here. Thanks to Yao Edu, the Bone Shaker. Uh, DJ Tablets. Iceman is also here. The wonderful ladies, Rabia to Otabel, Vida Otabel, Margaret Na, and um, Daniela. To the UTV crew, Shafik Ado, Charles, uh, Jeff, Yadamunina Moase. Sabre Ye Jemu, Na, Mobasa Mofreon, Debbie, Debbie. Or no on T three. Now you can you know say Waba Ghana Nenia G or Fring Kaya or Bayeno Wabehu Niema Bibri Wagana na or kwa or the ni na bedding a beko or such as say yeah near de or by we di banku and it lapia na a ye one of the best. Na obebo more the answer say obedi fufu because or see fufu is so aha na was sad that despite group as say, say, or multimedia ne free, aye, Nigeria, a bank crime, a bagana, no, a baby who near my FSA, the rich culture, near Busan, say, ne tattoo na a dan in Sano, aye, dan, no, say, aye, ne mame, aye, or dan, mame, a coma so, and Tina, why, yes, a tattoo na a day, a to nin sano, or the gana for you na say, or dan a fan such as say, a titan, sir, or my ye or my coma, as he was almost done, na a bibia or follow on social media, or the omina say, Sabri or say, or do be our dinner to be a assay, na or cosswa, or the near my papa, or the moon or mensia, or the moon or cultural centre, a diani or bedin gana, and near my papa, or the moon or the be uh, back to Nigeria na wako can senpai wa gana achiromu. And tia da tia fojina aswa se. Mwa mu diye chi. Na mu follow ye. Na mu share ye. Na mu tie ya bribi ya. Ya da mu nina mwa se. Ya frame Dave Hama. Mi jemu na midi ya ma elda bako pe elda osei na watuwa Bible adisu ya nesu. Dave Hama. Makrabo.